Today, we're diving into a crucial topic, understanding your audience persona for podcasting success. Hey there, podcasters. Welcome back to Podbean Academy, your go-to resource for all things podcasting. I'm your host, John. All right, so you've started a podcast. You're pumped, you're excited, and you're ready to go. You're ready to share your knowledge, creativity, and passion with the world. But here's the thing. You can't just hit record and hope for the best. You have to think about who your listeners are going to be. Let's break it down and think for a second. Let's say you're running a business-oriented podcast. Let's say it's an extension of your brand. Think about the people who are going to benefit from your service. Are they entrepreneurs, professionals, or are they students? Knowing this is going to help you cater the content and tailor your content to their needs. If you're creating a fiction podcast, for example, chances are your audience is going to be into fiction. Picture the kind of audience who's going to enjoy and benefit from the content that you're putting out. And I know we're talking about fiction, so there's a lot of ground to cover here. Are we talking romance? Are we talking sci-fi? Are we talking mystery? There's so much ground to cover in the world of fiction. Are there references that you can make during your podcast to, let's say, popular properties or brands that'll resonate with your listeners? This kind of insight can help guide your narrative choices. If pop culture is your jam, think about the audience who would love the topics you're discussing and your take on them. Are they diehard fans or casual enthusiasts? This can help shape your content selection and style. Now it's time to get personal. Imagine your perfect listener. We're going to call this your audience persona. We also call this our audience avatar. Pull behind the wall, our employee Ronnie calls him Kevin. An audience persona is a fictional stand-in that you can use to help define your ideal listener. This is going to help you target your podcast to your ideal audience. This fictional stand-in is supposed to represent the ideal of your perfect listener. This is all with the intention of figuring out what podcasting needs your podcast needs to meet. Their podcasting needs should be met perfectly by your podcast. This is going to help you make further decisions for your podcast. What is your ideal audience like? Are they laid back and quiet, or are they extremely passionate about your topic? Understanding this can help you align your content with their needs and their habits. Want to go the extra mile? Dive into a little bit of research. Explore existing content and communities within your podcast niche. Learn their language, what makes them tick, what social media they use. Understand their interests and discover how they engage online. This knowledge empowers you to fine tune your content and outreach strategy. Now here's a golden nugget of wisdom. A bean if you will, because we're pod bean. Okay, I'm done. Rather than covering broad topics, try to choose a more granular approach. Let's say you're podcasting about comic books, which admittedly is a pretty vast realm. Try to focus on a specific imprint, maybe a specific character or a specific series. You can even focus in on a specific comic book run. Your audience will be able to easily grasp what sets you apart from other podcasts in the comic book space. Now, I know a lot of us worry about imposter syndrome or worry about competition. If you're worried about competition, don't be. Find your unique angle or fresh perspective on the content. Maybe that also comes down to creating a different format for your podcast. Remember, standing out doesn't always mean going head to head with your competitors. It means carving your niche and building your own connections with fellow creators. And remember, every creator brings something a little bit different and unique to the table. You'll always want to find ways to differentiate yourself from other people in the market. Yes, totally. But even if you're talking about a topic that already has a lot of podcasts in the market around it, your unique take is your unique take, and no one can take that away from you. Your unique take will resonate with your own unique audience. Now here's the thing. You may be thinking that in order to create the perfect audience persona, you already need to have a massive audience. That couldn't be further from the truth. Remember, you don't need a massive audience to start your podcast, and you don't need a massive audience to figure out who your ideal listener is going to be. We have lots of resources for helping you grow your show before you launch your podcast, but the main point is this. What kind of audience do you want to develop for your show? Remember, the actions that you take and the words that you speak are going to help you generate a specific kind of audience. It's always important to remember that when you're putting out content to help engage and grow your audience. So there you have it, the importance of understanding your audience persona. It's the key to creating content that resonates, attracts loyal listeners, and sets you on the path for podcasting success. Now that you've learned all about audience personas, I want you to grab that notebook again, or grab the download packet below and start developing your own audience persona. If you're hungry for more podcasting knowledge, don't forget to check out the other tracks here in our How to Start a Podcast Podcast Academy track. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, understanding your audience persona is the secret sauce for growing a loyal audience. So get out there, get to know your audience persona, and start crafting content that's going to resonate with that audience. Once again, happy podcasting. See you in the next video.